13.8 billion years ago, and after the universe was created in the Big Bang event, the universe was completely dark for a while. Because an object that could emit light had not yet been formed. Hundreds of millions of years later, masses of matter began to erupt, become hotter and hotter, and shortly afterward, the universe sank into the light of the first stars. Today, stars are still the most numerous objects visible in the night sky. We see them as flashing points of light that differ in appearance only in their brightness. Still, in reality, the stars are very different from each other, and a wide range of sizes and colors are seen. Some eventually explode, forming strange phenomena such as neutron stars and black holes. We know today that many stars, like our Sun, have planets around them that revolve around them, and some of them may host life. Around the time the first stars lit up, the first galaxies were forming. Star clusters merged to form smaller galaxies, and the merging of these tiny galaxies led to more giant galaxies. All the stars seen with the naked eye are part of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The galaxy structure is so vast that it takes 100,000 years for light to reach the bottom of the galaxy. Of course, this galaxy is just one of the billions of galaxies in the universe. Using powerful telescopes and other robust detectors, astronomers are trying to unravel the mysteries of galaxies and better understand the nature of their mysterious phenomena. One of the most important phenomena is dark matter, with which galaxies appear to be intertwined. Cosmos The universe is, in fact, everything that exists. We mean all matter, energy, time, and space, and it is safe to say that almost everything in the universe is a part of something bigger. The structures of the universe are hierarchical. Our planet Earth is located in the solar system, and the solar system is located inside the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is a member of a cluster of galaxies called the Local Group, which is part of a larger structure called the, the Virgo Supercluster. Astronomers have recently identified a large area of space in which the, the Virgo Supercluster and other superclusters are located, calling it Laniakea. Laniakea means, immeasurable universe, in the Hawaiian language. All the galaxies in Laniakea appear to be moving toward an area at its center that astronomers have called the Great Attractor. Ruler called Light Astronomers use light as a ruler to measure distances. Because nothing can pass through space faster than light. Yet even one light year, a distance of about 9.5 trillion kilometers that light travels in one year, is very small compared to the most significant known structures in the world. Only a part of the whole universe is visible to us, and that is the area where the light of that part had the opportunity to reach the Earth in the period after the Big Bang. The true extent of the universe is still unknown, and it is even possible that it has no end. visible world. It is true that the world has no edge and may not even have an end, but the part of the world that is visible to us is limited. The visible universe is a region of space whose light has reached us during the 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang. The physical form of the visible world can be likened to a sphere 93 billion light years across with the Earth at its center. The potential inhabitants of a planet outside our observable universe, which we call Planet A, will have a different observable universe. However, some of these two visible worlds may overlap. The visible universe we are talking about is a small part of the universe, and the reason is that to see different parts of this universe, its light must reach the Earth, 
and the light from some of the most distant known galaxies has taken more than 13 billion years to reach Earth. That is, only a few hundred million years less than the universe's life. If we want to classify human discoveries in the cosmos based on light distances, they are arranged as follows. The Earth. Our planet is a small rocky globe floating in a secluded part of space. The closest neighbor to Earth is the Moon. If we travel at the speed of light, it takes a little over a second to reach the Moon from Earth. So, we can say that the Moon is one light second away. Solar System The Solar System comprises the Sun, the Earth, and everything around it. The farthest planet in the system is Neptune, about 4.5 light hours from the Sun. The solar system also includes comets, some up to 1.6 light years from the Sun. Local stars. A total of 32 stars, some of which are members of binary and multiple star systems, are located less than 12.5 light years from the solar system. These stars have a lot of variety. From faint red dwarfs invisible to the naked eye to sun-like stars in yellow and white. Some of them have planets around them. Milky Way Galaxy The solar system and neighboring stars make up only a tiny part of the Milky Way Galaxy. The Milky Way is a vast, rotating, glowing circle with about 200 billion stars, massive clouds of gas, dust, and super-heavy black holes at its center. The Milky Way is more than 100,000 light-years long and is surrounded by several smaller galactic moons. Local Group The Local Group is a cluster of galaxies consisting of the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, the Spiral Triangle, and more than 50 smaller galaxies. All these are located in a range of approximately 10 million light-years. Virgo Supercluster The local group and several nearby galaxy clusters are located within a vast structure called the Virgo Supercluster. The structure is 100 million light-years across, and several thousand galaxies are nestled in clusters separated by large empty spaces. Very well. So far, we are familiar with time intervals. Now back to that big moment, that giant explosion. About 13.8 billion years ago, a theatrical event marked the beginning of space and time. Suddenly, the universe emerged as a point of pure energy out of nowhere. At this point, during what became known as the Big Bang, the universe expanded billions of billions of times, and as it continued to grow, it slowly cooled down compared to that astonishingly hot birth. In the first fractions of the first second, a large soup of fine particles formed that interacted with each other. Some of these particles merged to form the nuclei of atoms. Tens of thousands of years later, real atoms formed, and hundreds of millions of years later, the first stars and galaxies formed. Let us show you the evolution of the world. The universe first begins as an infinitely dense point of energy at an unimaginable temperature. Then in a very, very small fraction of a second, the world expands to the size of a city. Less than a million billion billionths of a second after the Big Bang, the process of converting energy into matter begins. Within 20 minutes, proton and neutron particles are formed, followed by the formation of atomic nuclei. Time passes, and about 380,000 years later, hydrogen and helium atoms are formed for the first time. For the first time, gravity causes clouds of hydrogen and helium atoms to form dense masses. 
In the next stage, the first stars appear about 550 million years later, and the first galaxies are formed around the same time. Life is slowly approaching its beginning. Five billion years after the Big Bang, the universe is full of vast clusters of galaxies separated by vast empty spaces. Then the galaxies get bigger as they evolve and merge, and spiral arms appear in them. When the universe was about 8 billion years old, its expansion began to accelerate. Our solar system was born when the universe reached 9 billion. About 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang, the universe reached its current size. And finally, humans expect the universe to continue to expand forever. So pretty. The deeper we look at space, the more we travel back in time and get closer to the Big Bang. When we observe space with very powerful telescopes, we see galaxies that are very different distances and belong to different periods of the universe's evolution. The farther the galaxy is, the more primitive it is, and the more it looks like a foggy bubble. 